Hey there, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMine Blocks. In today's video, I will be showing you how to mine Rio currency. So this is a project that I was uh, notified uh, via Twitter. Someone just let me know. I've heard about the project previously to that, but I never really looked into it. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up the wallet and get started mining Rio. Um, it's got a lot of interesting features. Basically, it's crypto note coin. It was forked from Sumo coin, and Rio kind of went down the route of uh, GPUs and CPU mining. Sumo coin went down the route of ASIC mining. Um, it's got lots of uh, similar or um, comparable features to other crypto note coins. So if you're familiar with uh, Monero, this project basically has a lot of the same features and a few different ones as well. I'm not going to touch upon all the details, really just want to focus on getting the wallet set up and get uh, mining. So this is my first time doing it and I'll be showing you, taking you through the process exactly as I'm going through it. So any problems or anything along the way, I'll share all that with you and how we overcome them. So let's start off with the web browser and visiting the official website. Of course, I'll put all the links that you need uh, in the video description and you can get started. So ignore that uh, turtle coin. That's what I've been mining recently. Uh, so ignore that. So the official website is ryo-currency.com. As I said previously, all the links for everything you need, I will put in the uh, video description for you guys. So we've uh, scrolled down to the wallet. And the reason why we're downloading this particular wallet, it's a GUI wallet, so obviously it's gonna be easy for us to use, but also it has a mining pool built into it. So not a miner, but a mining pool. What that means is that we can solo mine to our own uh, wallet using this pool mining system. So let's get started, get uh, downloaded uh, with the wallet. Okay, so that's downloaded, and we're just gonna go and we'll run it directly from that short link there. We will assume that I trust it. For you guys, you want to, might take a bit more uh, precautions with these things. Obviously, it's going to be Rantaviruses Extra. I just really use this particular machine really just for recording and mining. Um, but the, the other thing to consider is that we are using a wallet and a miner. So you might want to keep your wallets and miners on separate machines. That's what I would always normally uh, recommend you do. Uh, for this once, we're going to be kind of like breaking this rule, but um, we won't be keeping any significant funds within this wallet. So that's the, the wallet installed. Let's uh, fire it up. It might take a little while to get synchronized, I guess. If you could just go back to that uh, website, I know there was a blockchain snapshot, but I think we'll just download it from scratch. It might take a little while to get downloaded, but we'll, we'll go with it. Uh, let's go with the dark theme. I'm coming uh, a bit of a convert. I was never really that keen on the dark theme, but recently, I don't know, from getting older, my eyes are playing up. I'm really like, starting to like dark theme. So that's um, a nice feature just right off the start. And let's go to next. So we want to configure, do we want a local and remote daemon? Okay, no problem at all, so that sounds good. So it's gonna download a full uh, blockchain, but it can also use a remote one whilst it's synchronizing. So that sounds good. Let's go with local and remote. Uh, any other options? I think we'll just leave all that as it is. Next. And just says the data location. Next. And we will allow access. Okay, so we need to create a new one. We'll give it a name and we choose a long address. I'll just create a dummy password. And we want to select create wallet. I'm okay with this particular wallet length uh, because we're not going to be keeping very much funds on here, I don't expect. Okay, so here we can see we've got a wallet address. We have seed words, a view key, a spend key, and then we have to confirm our seed words down the bottom here as well using that kind of button uh, sequence. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is just going to take a moment to um, save this stuff. I'll save it in a text file and then I'll uh, use it or move it, should I say, somewhere else to make it a bit more secure. Okay, so the bottom here we have to enter our seed uh, sequence. So the first seven word of the seed sequence. So let's do that. So all we're doing is we're entering the seed uh, from the buttons at the bottom in the correct order. Okay, so that's our wallet up and running effectively. You can see in the bottom right hand corner that we are still synchronizing. So I'm not too sure how long it will take to sync. Typically, it can be anything from a few hours to a few days. Um, what I would say is that most likely your wallet is going to need to be synchronized prior to mining. So I'm just going to leave that running in the background and we'll see how long it takes to um, get caught up. Okay guys, so I've had a bit of a break in the uh, interval. Uh, so you do need to have a synchronized uh, wallet um, before you can start solo mining with it. So what you want to look for, and it takes about 12 to 24 hours depending on your internet connection, where it says daemon, you want to make sure that is um, up to the correct block number and is 100% fully synchronized. Once that is done, you can then start uh, the next sort process, but make sure your wallet is synchronized first. So once your wallet is synchronized, if you hit on this little button up here, we can go to the solo mining option. And you've got a couple of options. You wanna enable solo mining, privately share hash rate, select both of those, and you should see your pool status says ready. It might say um, not ready if the wallet is still synchronizing or any other problems you'll be alerted to here. So make sure it says ready and then you can continue onwards. So we've got a wallet mining address. So it's the default uh, wallet address that we're gonna be using. And on the bind IP option, I've got it set to the local machine only. So basically it's like a loopback um, IP address and the port number there. You can of course set it up so you can set it up to use your local network or you can set it up so that it can accept connections on all of the ports, but I wouldn't recommend that. Either just set it up for your local network or just set it up on the local machine, which is what I'm doing. So once that's all done, you can click apply settings. You can see I've already done that there. And then you're ready to connect your miner to the wallet or the mining pool that you've, you've got set up here. So let's do that now. I'm gonna be using the XMR stack miner. So the guys that created the XMR stack miner are the same developers that made the Ryo, uh, the wallet and the, the, the cryptocurrency. So it's all run by the same people. So you can download the XMR stack wallet. I'll put a link in the video description. Um, I've got two here. What you might notice that this one is, I was using it for something else and you have this config, CPU, pools and Nvidia. So they're all configuration files for your hardware. So if you have those, you might wanna just basically uh, create a new uh, folder without those files and just kind of what I've done here is set up a new folder with the XMR stack miner and I'm gonna be using it purposely for the Ryo currency. So what I'm saying is that if you have, uh, if you wanna use uh, this miner for multiple currencies, then you just create a folder for each one. So once you've done that, you wanna start up the XMR stack miner. So we're just gonna double click it to start. And then we have the option, it says use the simple setup method. So we're gonna press Y to confirm. And then we need to choose our algorithm. So the algorithm is called CryptoNoyet underscore GPU. So it's a fairly new proof of work algorithm. So CryptoNoyet underscore GPU and enter. The next part is gonna ask for our pool address. So it's 127.0.0.1. And then the port number. So like I said, we're using a local loopback IP address. If you're uh, mining on from another machine in your local network, then obviously you want to enter the IP address of the, the machine that is running uh, the wallet. It will normally start 192. So we're gonna use the loopback port. And then we have our username or wallet address. So here, we don't need to enter a uh, actual wallet address because we're mining locally. And what we're gonna enter instead is auto auto.diff, so it's gonna set an automatic difficulty because you can't leave this uh, field blank as far as I'm aware. Um, so we're gonna use that setting. And then the password, we're just gonna do X. And we're gonna go no for no uh, SSL. 
Okay, so you can see here, what happens is uh, the XML stack miner checks the hardware on your computer. It creates configuration files for your GPUs and your CPU. And then what it's gonna do is connect to the pool. In this case, it's gonna to connect to the local pool and start mining on all of the available hardware. So let's have a look and we'll see exactly what's going on here. Sliding up slightly to the top, it says that the um, this particular algorithm is not um, suitable for CPU mining. I thought it was, but it turns out that it's not. So I've currently got a GTX 1080 Ti and we are mining, sorry if that's uh, scrolling away up there. So let me just scroll down. Okay, so the miner has been running for about 10 minutes now. So I'm just gonna talk quickly about the uh, results. So in the XMR stack miner, uh, the peak performance was 2,116 um, hashes. I did start overclocking the GPU ever so slightly just to sort of see what the performance might be like, but it looks like the miner is reporting a little over 2,100 hashes. In the uh, the wallet or the mining port itself, um, the, the hash rate hasn't quite picked up yet. So it did um, start elevating, but I was uh, fiddling with some other things and it's dropped back down now. But once this gets up to a peak of about 2000 kilo hash or more in line with the miner itself, you should see that the block rewards is a more accurate estimate. So when that was at that setting, unfortunately just before the recording, uh, the blocks uh, found was being reported at um, two days. So when the miner is running at top speed, um, when I'm not recording everything is going according um, to plan, it should be finding the block around about every two days, um, I would expect. i uh, just show you quickly, there is a worker stat, so you can see the worker performance and and obviously it will give you a, a chart over time. There'll also be a block rewards uh, listed here as well. So just to talk a little bit about the uh, earnings uh, potential. So on a few websites, uh, let's take a look. I found that the current uh, block reward is around about 56. I had it uh, recorded on the calculator, 56.2 Rio is the block reward. And uh, the current price is uh, 5 cents and a third. So what that means is that if we have the block reward and times it by the, the uh, dollar value, this is how much we're gonna be earning in terms of dollars per blocks found. So like I say, on that estimate, we're gonna be roughly finding this um, around about every two days, something like that. So then we're making about $1.50 a day in terms of revenue. That's kind of all you know, rough estimates based on just on these numbers here. Obviously with more testing, I'll be able to provide a more accurate estimate. But to show you what that um, compares against with other sort of popular cryptocurrencies, if we go to what to mine, and then we've got the 1080 Ti, which is what I'm using, these um, hash rates for each of the algorithms are, are fairly sort of um, accurate. So we hit calculate, and then we can see what we might be able to earn on other popular algorithms. So Beam is something I've been mining a lot of recently, and that comes in in terms of revenue of $1.65. So on that basis and these early numbers, uh, mining beam would generate in terms of revenue about 15 cents more per day. The um, profitability, I'm not too sure on yet, but I'm just talking uh, revenue numbers um, at this time. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it there. So I've given you some numbers to work with and uh, hopefully you can make some decisions and uh, share your results and all that sort of stuff. Uh, with me, let me know what uh, you guys are getting also. I'll leave this running at least for a day just so I can kind of get a better understanding of the numbers, block rewards and all that sort of stuff. But that's just an early look at it and um, my findings um, so far. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.